Today we are talking installment plans, specifically AT&T installment plans. Now they used to have two, AT&T Next and AT&T Next every year, but they recently made some changes and now they only have one installment plan plus a $5 add-on if you want to upgrade early. Today I'm going to tell you why you should or should not get this new installment plan and what the benefits are. I'm Sherry Riggs, you're watching Whistle Out TV. Now, before we get into the details of AT&T's new installment plan, let's go over what installment plans actually are. They allow you to pay for your phone or a device over time through monthly payments instead of in one big lump sum. Some carriers charge interest and others don't. AT&T is one of them. Now that we know what installment plans are, here are the details of AT&T's new one. The AT&T installment plan consists of 30 monthly payments. At the end of the 30 months, you will have paid the full price of the phone and you own it. If you want to upgrade sooner than 30 months and aren't worried about owning your device, you can choose a $5 a month add-on called AT&T Next Up. With Next Up, once you pay off half the cost of your phone through monthly payments, you can upgrade to the smartphone of your choice when you trade in your current device. AT&T Next Up is for the people who want the latest and greatest device. If you don't mind paying the extra $5 a month fee, this isn't a bad deal. Although you have to pay for an early upgrade now, AT&T's upgrade plan is still cheaper than T-Mobile's, and you can upgrade any smartphone, whereas with Verizon, you can only upgrade iPhones and Samsung Galaxies. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below and in the description. I'll also be leaving some links to resources so you can learn more about this new program if you want to. Once again, thanks for watching. I'm Sherry Riggs.